what's going on everyone so we are out here on a rather nasty day if you can see it's kind of raining um, I think it's supposed to be kind of drizzly for right now might die down and be a little bit more rainy later on with that being said however we are still gonna go down and try to catch us a fish Go ahead and put this charging station up. So I'm charging two batteries in my backpack with a power station right now, so that's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna get wet. It is like 56 degrees. So I mean, it's kind of chilly too. But I'm good with the cold, so I should be okay there. Let's go do this. We're walking back up into these woods real quick. Let me fix my camera angle as well. We're gonna go with that angle. Yeah, I gotta say that, that rain coming down straight on me is kind of chilly. So maybe I should have brought a jacket, but who knows, we'll be all right. I'm gonna start out tossing the frog a little. This line is disgusting from that water yesterday. Hopefully it gets cleaned off here. Working on my cast, I'm working on my cast. That was close to a perfect cast. I lost my popping frog last night, it pissed me off. All right, let's get one back there. I want to get to that layover, but I can't quite get there. The rain did calm down, so it's not really raining right now. So that's good. See if we can do anything with old Texas Rick. My God, that was a terrible cast. Please just come out. It was directly in a damn tree. All right, are we good? Sorry about that. Thank you for not getting snagged up big time. It means a lot. Love you. Let's try that uh, casting left-handed. You know what? Absolutely not where I was going, but I'll take it for now. That was better. Not ideal. I see someone else out here fishing. Didn't see them until a second ago.
Oh, rain's coming down a little more now. Let's go, baby. Fish on. Yeah. Nice fish. Let's go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come here, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. Let's go. New personal best. Let's go. Come on, Hook. Get out of there. I just hooked him again. Shit. Let's go, dude. Yes. Nice fish. I gotta pull the scale out for this guy. First time using this bad boy. Probably not much. Yeah, he's not even enough to pull it down. <laughs> all right, so it's not a digital scale. That's all right. So that's only gonna work on bigger fish, now I know. Oh, let's get him back in the water. There he goes, there he goes. Nice fish, man, yes. Yes. So, so. <laughs> So, so maybe I've learned my lesson. So I purchased a non-digital just because I was going for affordable. And you can see like, that guy might not have even been two pounds, but hey, it's all good. We're gonna call that a pound and a half solid, maybe two. I don't know if that's a PB or not. That's probably tied with the fish from the other video. I think the other fish was chunkier, but that one was definitely longer. Let's go. Yeah, I say let's go a lot. Alright, so this Cinco is destroyed. Wow, man, that was sick. So, Texas rig Cinco. I was working it somewhat slowly. And we got him. Oh, I think my uh, drag needs to be a little more as well. Because I don't want to be hearing that drag when I'm reeling in the whole time but still need a bit and that's the one trying to keep the GoPro clean Hopefully it's working. It is still actively raining.
That's better. Fish on. Oh, he spat it. All right, I had a fish on, but he spat it. I didn't get the hook. That was the spot, though. That was the spot. Is this a day of multiple fish being caught? Here we go, let's catch that little bastard. He was so small, I honestly didn't know he was on there. Ah. I think this cast is botched. Stand back in some cover real quick. Grab my other rod too. Just in case it doesn't let up. Folks, I'm going to take a break. I'm just going to hang out for a minute and see if this rain dies down. Uh, no matter what, I'll be back in a minute. All right, everyone, we're back. And before the rain gets absolutely too crazy and I can't stay, so we just fished here. Uh, we're going to move down. We can go all the way across to this point over here and a little bit past it. So we're going to take our Texas rig Yamasinko that way. And our frog. And we'll see what happens. This looks like an alligator slide or something, man. It's kind of sketchy. And it goes right into the water. All right, we're going to put some cast out from here real quick. I'm not going to worry about the frog right now. Saw another fish jump over there on that bank, if you will. Might go try that spot before we leave. Are we on a fish? Was it a fish? I can't tell if that was a fish or not. We're about to find out. If it was, he was just eating part of that worm. Oh man, we just had a fish on. And that was pulling some serious drag. Was it a fish? I really can't tell. So this Yamasinko is getting beat up. Hopefully we can catch something with it though. That was a fish, that was a huge fish.
fish on. No. No. I lost it. Had a fish on, man. Shit. If you're still there, you're still hungry. Gotta set that hook a little more. So, yeah, did I get him? Yeah, I did. Okay, there we go. Nice fighter. I'm not sure how big he is. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Let's go, yes. Holy shit. Holy mother of God. Let's go, man. Two pounds. Let's go. GoPro, shoot burst. GoPro, capture. Ah. Fuck it. There he is. He's chilling. He's chilling, he's breathing. Ugh. All right, bud, you don't gotta scare the shit out of me. Let's go, son. I hooked, I did set the hook when I nailed him. Oh, baby. Let's go. That was a two pound fish. What does a 10 pound feel like? And my Cinco is good. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so I said the Cinco was good. Maybe it's not good. Yeah, Cinco, not good. <laughs> I might be able to turn it around. Let's bite off a little bit this way. Just gonna turn it around and use it this way. Dude, <laughs> 
What a day to come out fishing, man. And to think I almost did it. All right, so we salvaged the Cinco. It looks, it's definitely uh, beat up around the middle, but I think that can catch another fish. Oh my gosh, let's go. I'm gonna try to refrain from saying let's go anymore. Oh man. Let's go. My phone ain't working. All right, everyone, we're back. My nerves have settled. That was incredible. Oh my God, I did not think that fish was that big, but it was an awesome fight. Oh my God, I can't not be hyped right now. So listen, if you got, listen, I'm 27 years old and I sound like a little girl because I just caught a fish, all right? I don't catch fish very often. If you are, if you are immune to it, the hype, and that's, that's sad for you. Ah, Want to catch another one, baby. Now I can officially say another PB on this YouTube title. No clickbait. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that just means I got to catch an actual big one now to, to say that again. I'm so glad we caught that fish. <laughs> what time is it? 10:24. Like an hour or two before the sky lets up, if that. It's starting to rain again now. No. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. Did my finger do something weird and I let go? I think that's what happened. <laughs> it was really weird. Yeah, that's what happened. My finger slipped and it just like... Yeah. All right, a couple more casts. We'll see what happens. And then we'll probably uh, move over there and then get out of here. Awesome day so far though. Definitely glad I came. Caught another PB. I love this little lake. I know there's even bigger fish in here, so. All right, we're gonna relocate. So I take that back. We are not relocating. Well, we are. We're gonna relocate straight to the car though. Uh, so down here, just to give you a heads up, so this is the lake that we were just fishing. I followed the path along this way and it ends up on that corner of the bank. Down here takes you to this section, which is with some lily pads and some banks on this lake. There's also another small lake right across. So this is like a path that goes straight through two lakes. This is one, this is the other. Um, I'm not going to fish it anymore. I'm actually content with my two fish. Those were awesome. I'm going to go home and edit this video. Um, it would also be super muddy and dirty down there. Um, so I just have a struggle of staying clean. Uh, so we're just going to keep our two fish today. Now we're going to head out. I'm happy with that. Definitely no skunk. We even lost a little smaller one too. But uh, that's the first day I've had multiple fish in a long time. And they were both... They were really close to looking like the same fish, but I'm pretty sure the second one was a little bit thicker and they felt a bit thicker as well. So that was awesome. I think the uh, the first fish I think was definitely a PB for length. I don't know about weight uh, up until the second fish. That one for sure was uh, definitely a PB for me. Looks like this would be the better way to get out. He was long and thick, and the he she felt great. That was awesome. And here we are. 
a new development. So unfortunately, eventually there'll be houses right here. So that kind of sucks. But there's a parking lot over there where maybe we could park, even if there are houses here, just to come back up to the lake. This is definitely my favorite spot that I've found so far for bank fishing. It's got plenty of access. I've actually hooked on to some bigger fish. East the Juan and the Mexican restaurants on the way home. Holla back. I think on another day, we're gonna do the mystery tackle box episode. I just, you know, I've been like afraid to like really do it because, but afraid to do the mystery tackle box episode because I don't know if I'm even gonna catch a fish. And if I don't know there are fish there, then no point in fishing it. I'm gonna unplug that. No need to charge it anymore at the moment. <sighs> Keep that on me. All right, everyone. Have a good day.